everyone. Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. Oberon's clue to us was Susu the cat. Well, the story's about a cat, but it's not Susu, it's Splat the cat. There's a lot of books about Splat. I know many of you enjoy them, so we'll read one today. The name of it is Splat the cat and the cat in the moon. Mm. All right, here we go. Splat and Plank were walking home one night and Splat gazed up at a full moon. Look, look, the cat in the moon, he said. Cat in the moon? Plank frowned. That's ridiculous, he said. There's no such thing as a cat in the moon. Splat pulled out his sketch pad and he did a quick drawing. See his face, Splat asked. Oh, mm. Those are craters, Plank said. They're big dents on the moon's surface. Trust me, I know all about space. Plank was a big space fan. He had shirts that had space jokes on them. He had a sinus poster in his room. He even had glow-in-the-dark stars on his bedroom ceiling. I'm basically an expert on space. There are definitely craters, Plank said. Cat face, yelled Splat. Craters, Plank shouted. Seymour, Seymour's the mouse, had his own thoughts about the moon, but Splat and Plank were too busy arguing to notice Seymour. Come on, I'll show you, said Plank, and he led the way to the shed in his yard. Whoa, whispered Splat. There was a huge telescope inside the shed. Splat had never seen one so enormous. Plank aimed the telescope at the moon. He looked through the eyepiece. Look at that, Plank said. And here is what Plank saw. Splat looked through the telescope and that's what Splat saw. Now, now you see, you understand, Plat asked. Splat nodded. Yep, I see, I see a cat in the moon. Oh, Plank looked again. I see craters. Well, Splat nudged Plank out of the way. No way, and they started fighting over the telescope. Just at that moment, Seymour pointed to his cheese. No one saw him. Look again, Plank shouted. You look again, said Splat. And they shouted so loudly, they again didn't see Seymour slip away. Then Splat slipped on an old roller skate. Mm, whoa, he fell into the air. He hit the telescope and the telescope flew off its stand. Splat landed on the floor and the telescope landed on Splat. Splat! Ooh. Splat, say something. Oh, you hurt. Say something. Are you okay? Asked Plank. I caught your telescope, said Splat, with a, with a big smile. Together, Splat and Plank got the telescope back on its stand, and they aimed it at the moon once again. Plank looked, and this is what he saw. Splat looked, and he saw it too. Oh no, what is on the moon? <gasps> Cheese on the moon? And this is what they did not see. Oh, it's Seymour. Seymour is laughing. He's thinking this is the funniest, funniest thing. Well, that's the end of the story of Splat the Cat and the Cat in the Moon. Not the man in the moon, not the cheese in the moon, the cat in the moon. All right. Very good. Now we're going to look at um, our birthday book. And we have a birthday. We have our friend Lauren. She celebrated her birthday. I think she celebrated it the other day. I know Harris and Maya sang a happy birthday to her then, but we can sing it to her today. All right, Lauren? Let's find out what kind of cake Lauren's going to have. All right. Vanilla is going to be Marta, Hudson, Marlo, Molly, Alice, Joseph, Graham, Audrey, Lila, Henry, and for chocolate, it's going to be Sophia, India, Ben, B, Bevy, Riley, 
Zoe, Harris, Emily, and Nicholas. Oh, a lot. One, two, three, Twelve for chocolate. Oh, and ten. Ten for vanilla. So it's a little more chocolate. Hope you like chocolate, Lauren. There you go. Okay. All right. One, two, three. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lauren. Happy birthday to you. All right. Put my cake down. And... That's it. Thank you, Oberon, for all your wonderful clues. Thank you, cameraman Dan. And remember, I love you all very, very much. Mm -hmm.